So I, I would like to present what we are doing with, with cities, city, Vilnius City of Learning and our Future Makers program, where we actually innovate with a, a rather exciting InnoBox uh, toolkit. I will uh, briefly talk about InnoBox and how we use it, including badges and the uh, Vilnius City of Learning platform. What is it? Uh, InnoBox is actually a toolkit, a physical box with a lot of inside it. And it's designed for youth leaders and youth workers to innovate new practices. In this in, uh, box, you, you can find uh, a number of tasks which helps to develop new operating methods, procedures, or services for youth work. So whatever organizations are offering to young people, but also young people themselves can innovate with what they do. Of course, focus is digital transformations. And InnoBox can be used either alone, so you go step by step through different cards in this uh, toolkit, or you can uh, form a team within your organization or have a training workshop around different steps included in the InnoBox was originally created by Verke, which is a Finnish expertise center for digital uh, youth work. And we collaborated with them and they supported us in translating InnoBox to our language and making it available in our country. What does InnoBox include? It includes uh, a number of cards, which taking one by one, you actually go with exercises. It also has an exercise book where you are invited to take notes, to use some templates, uh, to reflect on uh, different aspects of your work, on activities, on what you want to make as a change. Certain things like Canvas, where you can present your innovation as a, a structured way or wow, an exercise which allows you to evaluate the uh, idea and proposal from several perspectives. What is another exercise called scale, which allows you to look into several scenarios of the same activity you want to innovate. For example, you can think of a digital version of the same thing or totally physical, not including any digital or perhaps uh, uh, a combination of uh, digital and uh, physical. The box has very clear steps to follow. You start from analyzing environment, how is it changing, what kind of mega trends affecting our life, society, the work we carried on. And then you make conclusions what needs to be improved, changed. It includes also creativity techniques. Innovation is also uh, needing creativity. So it allows you to practice creative brain and creative thinking techniques. When uh, you look into problem solutions from different perspectives, often from young people's perspective and then from organization's perspective and matching the ones that makes uh, sense, prioritizing ideas, further developing solutions and then packaging and presenting uh, your uh, innovative ideas. What we created then started to, to use the InnoBox we actually created digital tools, learning playlists and badges on Citizens of Learning platform. And we practiced this during the autumn period. So already in spring, we felt that most likely we will have very tough quarantine measures in place. So we will not be able to organize any physical activities. So we were getting ready for fully digital version of using InnoVox with a number of people and organizations. So how did we do? We actually created uh, a number of learning playlists on Vilnius City of Learning, which included six uh, topics. We also, similar to uh, Tilburg City of Learning, we focused on global youth skills as a starting point. So we created a playlist where young people could self-assess their readiness for the future, look into their strong skills they possess now and where and how they can develop these skills in the city. And then we offered another playlist which was focusing a lot about analyzing changing world, uh, looking at uh, how different trends influence our organizations, our work, our careers, our learning, and how technology is actually affecting uh, the way we live. Then, of, of course, creativity, full playlist, many creativity techniques challenges and solutions and a playlist where participants of our courses would look into what is challenging for young people right now and how these challenges can be addressed by smart innovative uh, digital solutions and then the last two ones were actually facilitating creation and development of ideas for the innovation and packaging and presenting them here's an example of a playlist uh, on creativity it had around 10 uh, different activities, uh, what people could accomplish. Uh, some of these activities we also uh, realized during a, a series of uh, Zoom webinars. So 
For each course, we offered five uh, interactive facilitated uh, Zoom webinars, and we usually would take at least one or two activities from the playlist to complete together with the group. And then later on, we followed them with activities on the platform. So people were completing them independently and then submitting evidence to get a badge. How badges would look like, uh, you would have a playlist badge, which would require several uh, badges from the activities included in that playlist. So here's an example from a badge about how you prepare your uh, presentation of solution and different activities you need to complete in order to get the playlist badge. And the uh, evidences we were reviewing needed, we were uh, helping to improve them or even extend uh, some understanding and knowledge about specific topic or activity. And at the end of the course, uh, usually we were issuing a badge generated certificate. So all badges which people would earn on different playlists, they would appear on a certificate, a digital one. Uh, and in this way, people would have proof of their participation involvement, but even more, every certificate would be unique to the uh, badges what person was earning in the program. And some results and impact in total during the autumn period, we implemented three online courses, 80 plus participants joining at different moments where we were, of course, different numbers of participants joining. In total, we had 35 young people from this 80 uh, participants group because we very much also targeted to organizations which deliver programs to young people to be able to cope with the current conditions and perhaps integrate more digital youth work in their activities. And throughout the different activities, we were issuing more than 830 uh, badges to participants uh, who completed tasks on the Cities of Learning platform. Some of the quotes from uh, young participants, we uh, see that the InnoBox helps uh, young people to develop essential skills for their careers, learning and, and life. Uh, here, one quote talking about teamwork, importance of teamwork and working together in a practical way. Uh, another person was uh, referring a lot about how InnoBox helped uh, to create a, a, a solution for offering uh, more support to other young people in finding jobs, especially if you are maybe under 18, which is not easy to find an internship or a starting job. This young per participant was referring how InnoBox and the course helped them to uh, create uh, such a solution for their peers. We are Thankful for your attention and should you want to follow us, uh, contact uh, uh, us and we will be happy to collaborate and share more about how we use InnoBox uh, in our work. And of course, this wouldn't be possible without support from a Verke organization, which helped us in translating the InnoBox and supporting throughout the process of designing workshops and delivering them. Plus funding partners were also very helpful to be able for us to publish it and deliver to houses of people who participate in this program. Thank you.